How you doing, people? Today we're taking a look at The Fall Guy, directed by David Leitch and starring Ryan Gosling and Emily Blunt. Gosling plays Colt Seavers, who used to work as a stunt double for famous action movie star Tom Ryder. But after nearly getting killed in a stunt gone wrong, he retired. But he is called back into action to do stunt work for the directorial debut of his former girlfriend, Jodie Moreno, played by Blunt. Shortly after arriving on set, he finds out the real reason he was called into action was to track down the star of the movie, Tom Ryder, who has gone missing. Colt's search for Tom leads him into a massive conspiracy involving drug dealers, mercenaries, deepfake videos, and a highly trained stunt dog named Jean-Claude. The Fall Guy is loosely based on the 1980s TV show of the same name, which I cannot comment on at all because I have never seen it. Until just a couple of weeks ago, I didn't even know it was a thing. I was technically alive when it aired, but I was very young. So I will be ignoring the TV show entirely and judging the movie purely on its own merits. That said, this was awesome. It's got a very good story with a lot of twists and turns as Colt is trying to figure out what in the hell happened to Tom. And I do have a soft spot for movies about making movies. Those usually turn out pretty well. Blunt plays this first-time director who is clearly very intelligent and determined, but is also in way over her head, even without her star going missing. We see a lot of what goes into making a massive blockbuster, like the movie they're making, which is this sci-fi epic called Metal Storm. And while she is trying to make this movie, which is a massive sci-fi epic called Metal Storm, we see a lot of what goes into the making of the film, as well as a lot of behind-the-scenes bullshit. She's got to deal with a self-absorbed lead actor and an asshole studio executive, played respectively by Aaron Taylor Johnson and Hannah Waddingham. And both of those actors play their parts very well. Taylor Johnson is just the ultimate movie star douchebag. And Waddingham's character is also pretty terrible, but she's more the smile to your face, stab you in the back type. And of course, we get to see plenty of stunt work. First and foremost, this movie is a love letter to stunt performers. And the stunts we see in the movie, as well as the movie within the movie, are all very well done. I read somewhere that they set a new world record for the number of cannon rolls in a car, and based on what I saw in that scene, I believe it. The action sequences look great and use a lot of practical effects. There is some CGI as well, but mostly for Metal Storm. I did like that the movie calls out the fact that there is no Oscar for stunt performers, and there damn well should be. And the credits at the end of the movie show the actual stunt performers doing scenes from the movie, which I thought was a very nice touch. Another reason this movie works well is Gosling and Blunt have very good chemistry. We get a few flashbacks to Colt pre-injury, so we get to see them in happier times and in the present day when they're less happy, and it seems like they kind of want to get back together, and there's a constant will-they-won't-they they going on, and they play off each other very well. I also like the relationship between Gosling and Winston Duke, whose character is the stunt coordinator for Metal Storm. Their friendship felt very genuine. There are some very funny moments in the movie, some of which involve the aforementioned stunt dog Jean-Claude and his signature command. I won't spoil it. There's also a great running gag about a unicorn in the first half of the movie, which just about had me dying. And we got a few cameos near the end of the movie, and they are very cleverly done. Pretty good soundtrack as well. The theme is based on Kiss's I Was Made For Lovin' You, and I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about an orchestral version of that, but it kind of worked. I am really struggling to think of anything bad to say about this movie. I mean, if I went back and watched it again, maybe I could nitpick a few things here and there, but why bother? It's a lot of fun, it's got a very talented cast, it's a great tribute to stunt performers, and it is absolutely worth your time. And that's all I have to say about The Fall Guy. Until next time, take care.